What's your greatest weakness? Seriously, you're asking me that? We just want to know who Sarah Lyrit is. Okay, I'm a 26-year-old unemployed film director. I spent the last 20 years studying things that will be out of date in the next two years. And my parents, hell everybody, promised that if I studied a lot, I would get a good position in a good company. And now I'm competing with them for the same jobs and I'm sure not directing movies. By the way, why am I doing this? We're testing your fine motor skills. I really need this job. Then what is your greatest weakness, Miss Lady? I work on something until it's done, which makes me a good but slow worker. A perfectionist. What else? I'm working on too many projects. So, sometimes I get burned out. I see. Then, what is your biggest strength? My ego. Having an ego is like having an itch. It's a driving force. It makes you work harder. Like, try new things and learn new skills. It makes you struggle to become the person you're pretending to be. Are you pretending, Miss Lariat? You seem almost painfully frank to me. I have no intention of lying to you. I'll put that down as a strength then. What is your biggest accomplishment? I guess my last film. <laughs> the critics would not agree. And I think they shouldn't. The movie was mediocre, but I learned a lot, met great people. To me, that's an accomplishment. I'm getting better. If your work is so mediocre, then why should we hire you? And if we do, how long are you planning on staying with us? I have a potential. You hire me when I'm still young and let me grow with you. Think of me as an investment for at least a few years. Well, you speak with such authority, but your work doesn't seem to match your promises. You're still young and inexperienced. You're right. I can't change being young and inexperienced. But I'm willing to learn. I'm a reliable and a responsible worker. Um, after your last movie, you disappeared for a few months? Not exactly reliable or responsible. What were you doing? I was taking care of some personal matters. Well, it seems that you abandoned all your projects and cut all your ties. Would you care to comment? No. I hope you won't think my next question is inappropriate, but I just have to ask. How did you injure your face? <laughs> I do think that's an inappropriate question, but I'll tell you how. Excuse me. The next one will be better. What's your greatest weakness? My ego. Somewhere deep down, I think I'm the greatest person to walk this earth. I'm sure many of our readers would agree you're quite a success. Far from it. I still have a very long way to go before I make something watchable. But see, everybody thinks like that. Like, I'm the greatest, I'm the main character in the movie, that is my life. I'm just a little less capable of hiding the arrogance of it, that's all. I say things and people get angry, but I don't want to be that person. But uh, how does it happen? I'm sure it comes with being an open person. Anytime you give me a mic, like public events, interviews, I'm a known asshole. Like right now? I mean, you have to admit you're kind of notorious 
considering all your controversial statements and everything. You're hoping for one, right? Well, it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> we are looking to keep our readers interested. And I'm sure you do the same for your viewers. I guess we must all be best at what we do. <laughs> I'm a director. I wouldn't be able to do my job without a huge ego. You have to be a little overconfident to undertake such an enterprise. And if I like it or not, that's who I am. Well, um, being so good at it, what do you think makes a good threat? There's this quote, can't remember who from, but... Learn to give people unlimited freedom in a very limited position. Every good director should know that. For me, being a good director is enabling people to do what they do best. That origami you're making is beautiful. How did you get into it? I had to learn it a very long time ago and I'm still doing it because it helps me think. Mm, would you consider yourself an artist? Artist is a dirty word where I come from. It means a beggar or a slacker or a martyr, like someone who suffers for their art only to die poor and alone. So what then? Excuse my curiosity, but our readers have all kinds of theories about you. A craftsman. I have a skill and I use it to make a profit. When I'm skillful enough, my work could be considered art, but not before my death. You studied politics and journalism, but now you're making future films. One would assume you would get into documentaries? One would, yes. And I do them sometimes, I mean, if I'm interested. But I believe it's easier to influence people with fiction films. I mean, influence for the better, of course. But what do you mean by influence? I'm sure you don't mean manipulation, but it seems like a recurring thing with you. I would say I try to guide people, like point out things. You don't make people laugh, you allow them to laugh. People want to feel something and that's why they go to the cinema. Um, <laughs> your last movie, it was a little bit of a flop. I mean, the critics loved your earlier work, but doesn't the rawness cut it anymore? Somebody said to me that I'm young and inexperienced, that my work doesn't deliver what I promise. Yet, I'm aware of that and can't sleep because of it, but that's the nature of our work. We're all trying to close the gap between our work and what we deem to be good. So, how can you disappear from public life for a year after your last movie? It caused quite a stir. Let's just say I took some time to ask questions. What did you discover? I'm a needle on a broken record. I jump around but never find my groove. Most people live for tomorrow but I live in this moment and it's the only way to seize the day. Is your absence connected to your want? It's a symptom. Do you mind telling our readers how you got it? Because the speculation... You can't exist in this hell without damage. Well, then it will interest our readers why you believe it. And that's all the time we have. See you in a sec, what? What's your greatest weakness? I'm sick of the questions. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Just talk to me. How many times did we do this conversation? Hundreds? So you're bored with me? No, you don't get it. I can't take the interrogation anymore. Nobody's making you. It's like a fucking psychiatrist. You want to tell me about your mother? You want me to say that I'm an egoist? A self-involved asshole? That I don't really care about people? That I'm sorry?
I am who I am. I don't want to talk anymore. Then stop. I can't. These conversations are my personal hell. I have to live with myself. Why doesn't it stop? What? The conversation! It's bullshit! It doesn't exist. I will prove it. What are you doing? Stop it. I don't need proof, I believe you. Put down the knife. I'm warning you. Stop it. You won't do it. Flip the tape. <laughs> <laughs>